Hey guys, welcome to another English commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be uh, the second match between OD and NRG listening in right as we speak. And it's awesome being played on Valentine's Day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sad. Single awareness day. Anyway, uh, getting to it. Uh, so this is going to be a match between Fitch and Bamboo. Uh, Bamboo going to be starting at the 6 o'clock location in purple. Fitch starting in the 9 o'clock position in yellow. Zerg on Zerg action. Uh, both telling each other, both fun guys, both telling each other to have a good time, good luck, whatnot, on Valentine's Day. Anyway, hot Zerg on Zerg action. Looks like both overlords are going to scout in the proper direction, uh, going to come across each other's base fairly easily, because otherwise they're going to be dumb, because, hey, overlord right there. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, if you want to check out all the action involved with this, go to yankeeleague.com. Otherwise, uh, you can listen to the live shoutcast, actually, if you go to the proper op channel. Not sure if they actually want these op channels flooded, but oh well. But yeah, you can listen to these games live, actually, uh, as I'm casting them, which basically everybody in OD and uh, NRG in the uh, clan channel is listening to. Special shout out to them while they listen. Uh, looks like both players going for, uh, well, obviously going for a straight overlord build. The with this proximity, I'm going to expect both players to nine pool. It would be a little crazy to go, uh, go for the 12th hatch, because uh, I feel like one player or the other would whoever decided to not 12th hatch would end up uh, kind of at a disadvantage because uh, you're going to have Zerglings spawning right at your right at your butt right there. Looks like we're going to see a 12th hatch uh, from both players here. Yeah, uh, setting up for it, except a third uh, uh, gas going down in the meantime. Looks like, actually, let me sort out my Zergs here. Uh, gas going down for Fitch. I'm uh, going to see a spawning pool probably here right in a second. Putting down the gas before the spawning pool, which is an interesting decision. Uh, usually you'll see the spawning pool first. Uh, spawning, uh, looks like gas also going down first uh, for bamboo. Interesting. Instead of spawning pool. Uh, still no spawning pool on his side. Spawning pool is up for Fitch, so Fitch is going to have those Zerglings just to have a second sooner. It looks like actually he fast expanded. Uh, I'm surprised he decided to go with that fast expanding uh, with, the, with the proximity of position, and he has this Overlord Scout, so he knows that speed upgraded Zerglings are going to be coming in the meantime, so he's going to be a little bit hard pressed uh, putting up a spawning pool now. He's going to be somewhat hard pressed to defend this uh, this expansion. We'll see if he can get a. Basically, what he's going to need to do is he's going to need to get a sun colony out uh, at this expansion. Additionally, what he's going to need to do is he's going to need to block his ramp because if Fitch basically uh, if Fitch can get some zerglings out and if he decides to run them up into uh, Bamboo's base, Bamboo's going to have a hard time fending them off. He's going to have a hard time defending his drone line. This Overlord is seeing all of this, seeing the secondary and the main. Uh, knows that the spawning pool went down significantly later. Uh, looks like a second hatchery going down. I'm surprised we're not seeing zerglings being produced. Eh? expected to see it. It looks like actually we're going to see a, a quick tech to layer, so ignore me entirely. So uh, Fitch is, is teching straight to layer, putting a second hatchery down now. He's going to be significantly ahead as far as layer techs go. He's going to be uh, behind economically though uh, in a bit here, because as you can see that second hatchery being produced at the secondary. And is going to be behind in production in that regard. Uh, now uh, tech to layer for bamboo as well, but we saw what a good five second difference. So that is, I think, a, a decent enough time if you see a good amount of micromanagement here uh, from Fitch to get uh, basically those those mutalisks inside bamboo's base. Bamboo now, or I'm sorry, Fitch now has the zerglings pushing out, going to head towards bamboo's secondary. Let's see if bamboo manages to get some zerglings out in time. He has drones pushing out. Looks like he has the uh, zerglings uh, hatching. I'm going to assume those are zerglings. Uh, so it looks like he is going to be okay. Interesting play from both these guys. Not what I'm used to. Of course, I'm used to Korean pros and they're crazy elite, so whatever. Anyway, second hatchery almost up in the meantime inside Fitch's base. Uh, looks like the Zerglings are going to push back. As spotting the four Zerglings here at the, at the front, realizing he's not going to be able to do enough harassment uh, on both regards. Uh, waiting for the Lair tech. So re uh, Lair is now up for Fitch. Fitch putting down the Spire. Lair still morphing in for Bamboo, and that's going to be the difference. I'm going to try to count out the difference here. So that's uh, four seconds now, five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds. Yeah, this is uh, plenty of time. Plenty of time for Fitch to get those Moonlisks uh, over Bamboo's base. Bamboo now has the Lair, uh, and if the and man, it just sucks when you have the when you have the Moonlisks uh, fight happening at the front door. It looks like more Zerglings were produced by Fitch. I managed to kill the, what was left of the Zergling force. It looks like he's running into Bamboo space right now. Sorry for missing that. I was counting the Lair in the meantime. It looks like it's not even going to come to that. Lair getting attacked by the Zerglings. Drones coming off the line to try to defend uh, Bamboo Spire. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough, though. Uh, drones being killed in the meantime. At the very least, this is going to hurt Bamboo's economy, so Bamboo falling way behind here. Uh, Spire still going up, but losing basically all his drones uh, simultaneously. It looks like the uh, more Zerglings pouring in for Fitch. Fitch in a really strong position. First of all, he has Zerglings up in the base. Looks like he's going to be able to take out the Spire uh, as well. 
finally the Zergling is taken out uh, of Bamboo's base, but not before serious economic damage. Uh, and as you can see, that Spire is basically two-thirds finished, almost done. Uh, has another Zergling force pushing up, is winning economically, uh, is winning technologically. Uh, absolutely devastating for Bamboo. I'm not sure what Bamboo... Uh, I don't think Bamboo can really get back in this game. Maybe he can pull out some Miraculous Micro. We'll see. Uh, he, uh, he's got. He's trying to block his front with two Zerglings uh, and defend against the Sun Colony. The Sun Colony is not going to hold against the, that grouping of Zerglings. Looked like a single Zergling, Zergling uh, attacking the hatchery in the meantime. Yeah, that Sun Colony is down. Uh, only two Zerglings to defend, and Bamboo, it looks like he's going to end up losing this actually to pure Zerglings. Uh, yeah, there's GG. So Fitch taking a rather fast game against Bamboo, uh, and, and really, yeah, that's kind of the danger of going for that fast expand is, is you. It's hard to defend both your main and your secondary. Uh, I'm surprised that Bamboo went with that with that tactic. But anyway, good game for both players. Thank you, especially to Overdose who and Energy for letting me cast these. It's awesome. Uh, it's really fun actually. This is more fun than doing it live anyway. Or I'm sorry, doing it off a replay or doing it off a recorded VOD anyway. Uh, and all those guys, of course, well endowed. So anyway, thanks for listening, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, again, check out like, yankeeleague.com or each of these guys' websites. I'll have them in the details. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.